Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BLR Knowledge Center. And I, I came up with another topic called uh, passing a value to a parent class constructor using a J class. So there is a possibility in C sharp, like if you want to pass a value to the parent class from the J class, right? You can use the parent uh, J class constructors and then you pass it to your parent class constructor and you initialize the parent class variables, right? To do this, right? We have a keyword called a base, right? We can use this base keyword in the derived class constructor that is J class, right? And then you uh, call a specific constructor in the base class, that means a parent, right? If the base class has multiple constructors or if you need to pass argument to the base class constructor, you can do that using base class keyword. That means base of, right? You can pass value one, value two like this. That means example, right? I have a class that is parent, right? And I have a constructor, right? Public parent, right? And I have some stuff inside of it, right? And I have a class child, right? And inside of child, I have a constructor that is child, right? Instead of this, I have some logic. So while you're creating it here, this child class, you can use base of value one, right? And value two. This way you can declare this stuff, right? And this is going to invoke this stuff, right? If I say like this is having uh, parameters, right? And I declare here, right? Int A and B, and then here I can initialize, right? This dot A equal to value one, this dot, right? B equal to value two, right? Of course, you can have a same logic here, right? And when this instance is created for uh, invoking this, right? Anyway, you have to import this, I mean, inherit parent into here, right? When you create an instance here, this is going to fire. And while firing here, it is going to execute a base keyword going to back to your parent class and execute this stuff. And with this, I'm going to initialize my parent class variables, right? And then process the actions inside of my parent. That's how I'm going to pass a parent um, values to the parent class from the child class constructor. If we can see the demonstration part, right? So I have a class, right? A parent class and I have a A and B and I have a constructor here, right? And which is having a value one, right? And I have a method, got it? And again, I have a child class which is derived from parent. Again, I have two variables. It is having child, right, constructor, which is accepting two parameters. Here, you need to use, right, base value one, right? Because my constructor and the parent is only having one parameter. And I'm just giving base of value one should be defined instead of, I mean, along with your constructor of child. Now, I'm just instanti instantiating child object by just passing 10 and 20 because it is having two values in child class constructor. I have to pass two values. And when I run this, right, it is going to start executing, right? First parent constructor one is called and passed value to the parent constructor is 10, right? I pass 10 and 20 to the child, right? Child is going to, you know, invoke the parent class constructor. That's what I just, let me, let me, let me, let me yeah. So if you can just see here, first parent constructor is called, this is one thing because it is coming here as soon as I instantiate and it is taking two values and it is invoking parent class constructor and passing to 10 is here, 10 is as in a variable and this message is printed and then child constructor invoked and it, it has created as in these two values in child class again and this is printed the message from the child class constructor and then method one invoke and method two invoke as how you invoking here. This is something a uh, kind of uh, flow of you are passing a parameter or values to the parent class using child class constructor using base keyboard. Got it? Right? We use a base construct base keyboard here in the child class constructor and passing the value to parent class constructor. Okay, so I hope you understood how to pass a value to the parent class constructor using a class that is base class, base keyboard.
Thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.